Yes. Yeah. I guess my only argument think, would be, I think that as a at, collectively as a nation, we are on that same kind of doomed path, anyways. So hopefully, if I stick it out long enough, we can rebuild here after everything yeah. gets burned down. You know. What right. Because I mean? we saw, and I've I've I said That's this kind of earlier. Prepping. I said this kind of earlier. Like in certain states, that people are going to, they're calling refuges. Like Texas, it's too late for there. You yeah. Know, it's already shifted. So many people left from yeah. California for other places to go to Texas. Yeah. But that's not going to be the red dim. state done that people left uh, their homes to flee to. Now yeah. it's it's going to be a purple state at best. You know, and it might be okay. Is, like it, it might turn out okay, but it's not going to be what you went for. No, it's going to swing away from why people went there. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I don't know. I definitely, <laughs> I definitely understand the black pilling, um, and mm-hmm. it's something that I have to compete with consistently. And if you asked my wife, that would be probably part of the reason that she's consistently telling me that we should leave is mm-hmm. because of how often I'm coming home. Like these motherfuckers don't want it. They don't want freedom. They want yep. to suckle at the teat of the state because they are fucking afraid, you know? Yep. And when I – I don't know. I can't even think of a good example because it happens all the time. It happens all the time. Like every day, man. Due to myself, listen to NPR and shit in the car, you know? I do it to, uh-huh. to and from work all the time because I yeah. think it's important to know what the opposition is saying. But it's also – it's crazy. Some of the shit that I hear on there is insane. And that's mm-hmm. – those are my tax dollars that are going to that. You yeah. know, my, my tax, tax dollars, dollars are helping fund, fund this radio station that is actively, actively turning my fellow constituents, my fellow state members against, against my ideology, ideology. Which, which is – it's, it's not, not even an ideology, ideology. – because they're they're deeply held moral beliefs i wouldn't even it feels like it belittles my values to call it an ideology because it's so not something that could be traded for something else the the feelings that i have and the way that i feel about freedom and personal responsibility and personal choice are not fleeting things that are ever going to go anywhere because they don't change for me based off of your political ideology or anything else that you believe. I believe that everybody is entitled to these things, irregardless, regardless of anything else that they feel, you know? So it, it it's, it's tough. It's very difficult, you know? Yeah. And that's what, that's what uh, I say it tongue in cheek, but that's why I want my friends to move. It's because like a lot of them kind of have the same same kind of frustration, right? The frustration comes from them not seeing it, right? Not yes. seeing the proverbial pot that they're being boiled in. But then them not doing anything, and then you guys think, like, if I can just get them to X, if I could just Y, if, if only Z. And I think the problem that I have with that is, like, you're sacrificing your life too. And so it's frustrating for me when I see what you are offering them or what you what you could be doing for them and they're not listening for you but and then i just know that on the other side of this once you let that weight down there's so much for you and that's why i really think that you need to read listen to watch the movie of i was shrugged because i think hey read them and i would be frank dakona just kind of talking you into this like i it's the snake in your ear not for any other reason is i just don't think they deserve it this you you and my, I, mean? I think you guys are better than that. And my only counter to that would be part of my internal struggle is whether or not that is my path. You know what I'm saying? If if that eternal struggle is part of my path is to I, – because I don't know. And I'm again, I'm not trying to self-aggrandize, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know if that's part of my path to sacrifice myself in my life, my sanity, my time, my effort into doing what I can to push forward this uh, – this idea yeah. even if I – don't see it come to fruition you know what i'm saying there are this is a butchering of the quote but it's from thomas Paine of like saying like i'm willing to live a shitty life so that my son can live a good one yeah you know even if i don't see it 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 may be worth it to me to stick it out if my son can stay here and live the life that i dreamed to live here yeah you know and i I don't know i don't know what is the dream it's, what, what, it's like, just it's, what, it's just free. Why there? Like why there though? Is it because your family's there? Because your family's no. Leave it alone. It's not because this my family's here, and I, I without going into too much detail because I don't want to air on the cast. My family is now essentially my friends. Uh, so yeah. it's so it's not it's not my family. It's because this is the only place I've ever lived. 
I've never yeah. lived anywhere else but the Pacific come Northwest, visit but me. but this state. Just come visit me. And I, I've been well, to, I've been to other places. It's yeah. not that I've never been anywhere else. I've not I've not traveled the world, but I've been to other places. And the the connection that I feel to this place when I stand in the woods, in the rain, in the fog, yeah. is unparalleled to the feeling that I have anywhere else. Yeah. And it, it's difficult for me to to trade that. And that's definitely not to say that I can't discover that somewhere else. Because like I said, I'm not well-traveled. I, I have traveled places, but I'm not well-traveled. Mm. So there's potential that I could find that somewhere else. But um, without having felt that anywhere else, the only place that I felt that is here. You know? And because I know in myself that what we are saying is the truth i it almost seems like a disservice to give up on these people because mm -hmm. i know what we're saying is true i know it to be true and i know that like you were saying if they could only understand if they could only whatever if they could see it then they would know and to a lot of people that sounds like ignorance and i'm i'm willing to risk that mm -hmm. you know but i know for a fact that freedom is the way to go. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and I think that if people saw that, then they would, they would, they would know that. Yeah. They would recognize it. And, I, and like, but I don't know. If I was to try to put it in other words, I would say, like in my, my perspective from what you just said was, um, you're not done fighting yet. Like you're, you're not willing to, you're not willing to give up yet. It's kind of, I think, the general feeling. You know, you're you're fighting a fight right now, and that's to to hold the ground. And right now, you don't think you've lost the battle. You know, the it's it's not time to retreat yet and and find higher ground somewhere else. It's your your faith in the in the positivity of freedom is so well rooted that you're unwilling to give that ground yet and go pursue the freedom somewhere that is not. You're not like you said. You're not as you know, you're not the super world traveler and stuff like that. But I will tell you that I have traveled a lot and been to lots of different places all over the globe, all over this country, seen how lots of different cultures live and the, you know, the, the geography of different areas and this, that, and the other thing. And when I had the opportunity in my life to basically move wherever I wanted to go, I came back here and there's, I don't know what it was at the time, but I understand that feeling of kind of like, home ground being like sacred ground like i've learned to truly appreciate the the landscape everything around here i mean we got some dope ass stuff if you if you like to spend time outside and be out in the woods and hunt and fish and feel like you're a part of the land or go see hikes or just look at gorgeous ass sunsets over like you know snow-capped mountains from like your backyard like you could do that a lot of places here like driving down the road, driving home from work sometimes is just like it's a breathtaking experience yeah. if you're willing to accept it. But and so like I understand the the sacredness of of not wanting to leave, especially because right now you're in the middle of a fight. We're in the middle of a fight to try to protect it by trying to push forward those ideals of freedom, make people realize what it is that they're giving up and they need to fight back against it. I'm not ready to retreat either. Because but when I do retreat I'm going to fucking Montana or Wyoming and we're going to go is. hang out on this massive 600 because acre even, plat and live even if it dream life until they come for us. Because even if it doesn't spread, right, I still feel like I should have the right to believe what I believe in my home and I shouldn't feel uncomfortable here, you know, and even if I can't change the minds of the dominant population here, the majority here, I feel as though the people who believe what I believe, I know that the people who believe what I believe have a right to exist here. They have a right to exist in this state and not feel uncomfortable and not feel alienated and not feel isolated. Mm -hmm. They have a right to believe these things because everyone has a right to believe these things, even if you don't agree. I shouldn't have to leave just because I don't agree with the people that live here. I should not be made uncomfortable to the point that I don't want to live here because people don't believe what I believe. I... Uh, I'm uncomfortable so you're with screwing that. Up you my know? America. I'm, um, I don't want to let you do that. I, I 
a thousand percent respect the the state's rights aspect of that's why we have different states so people who believe things can live where they want but i don't believe in people being effectively forced out of their home because they don't believe in the dominant ideology Uh yeah very nicely Uh, put and i I, so i think it's i think it's difficult for me for one reason like one i feel like a i feel like a quitter because you guys are just like i'm not giving up on anyone (laughs) i I, I don't want to feel like a quitter found a new home that's all like this is still our home. Yeah. I, I you've made a new home, obviously, and maybe your home is not rooted in a geographical location. Yeah, and so no, it's, yeah, it's, so it's, it's not. It's, it's a our feeling it's isn't deep. necessarily the same for everybody. It's your yeah. dogs and your wife, I, right? Well, yeah, it's it's my whole uh, economy or a friendship, if you will, right? Because yeah. like I really think money's energy, energy's money, right? So like where you spend your energy. It's putting currency, money, time, investment, et cetera. And I think, yeah, it's just discouraging because, like, I feel like when you read the book, you'll see it. But I feel like I've already, like, lived, not lived, seen the outcome of this. And I just don't know what it looks like for you guys to get out on the other side with a win. And so it's frustrating. So I keep building it up. For, like, you guys are my only friends who are doing, like, the weird stuff like this. And so <laughs> I keep wanting to aggressively build it. So, like, it's when weird, you're – it when it's done, you guys have somewhere to go. Yeah. I, I, We're I, all listen, weirdos. I, I own it. Yep. <laughs> Your yep. wife is a weirdo, too. I figured that out just over the last week. I'm like, so that's it. Is They're both – fucking weirdos and that's <laughs> that's, how they, that's how they're together is that they're both yes. just fucking weirdos and she puts up with my just my complete DJ place like she's the only woman i know who could just be uh, uh just a million dollars in debt like just literally wake up to like 1.4 million dollars in debt and just be like okay and you just know trust why? me implicitly because you up. you know for a fact that you have instilled in her the concept that the dollar is not going to last. So let's just ride it <laughs> while we can, baby. Welcome to the south of the streets. Coming at you every 